And now your host, real estate broker, consultant, and best-selling author, Todd Tremonti. What is up, party people? Welcome to DFW Real Estate Weekly, where we're talking all things residential real estate across the mighty metroplex of DFW. Lots to talk about today. Lots going on. Summer 2023. Hot as the face of the sun out there, folks. But the market is moving and making a little bit more sense than it's made in quite a while. Lots of opportunities still out there, though. So if you're a buyer or a seller, stay tuned all the way with us today, coast to coast. We've got a lot of information for you. Lots to talk about that others are not talking about. And really, in a lot of ways, that's our commitment here on DFW Real Estate is to be a voice for you of what's actually happening on the ground in residential real estate. We run the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team all day, every day, all week, all year, uh, talking to thousands of people every single year about buying, selling, and investing in property, plus taking really, really good care, loving on and hanging out with our past clients, friends, neighbors, vendor partners, all that good jazz. So we've got our finger right there on the pulse of the market, not in the same way that the uh, journalists and headline and clickbait writers, not that they're all you know, bad people are poorly, you know, have bad intentions. They're just not in the business day in and day out. So we're here to be an advocate for you, to be a voice for you. Uh, and in the event that you need to buy, sell, or invest in the near future, and you're a fit, we're here to be a broker or an agent for you. So you can find us and all sorts of information online at toddtremontiteam.com, toddtremontiteam.com. But we're going to get into it today, talking about what's happening in the market, what you need to know, what's going on with interest rates, where the opportunities are, as well as Two really, really, really fun things we are doing in partnership with radio stations and other businesses and friends and clients uh, to make this the most fun summer you've ever had in DFW, as well as maybe the most impactful summer you've ever had in DFW. We'll get into that stuff here in just a second. This first segment is brought to you, as always, by Patrick Gleros and his team at Cardinal Financial. Whether you're looking to get a mortgage, looking to refinance, maybe you're looking at purchasing an investment property, Patrick should be your first stop. Have a conversation with him. Go to patrickgleros.com, G-L-A-R-O-S, patrickgleros.com. You can start an application right there on his website. 972-728-3420 is his phone number. NMLS number 3088804. And as always, you can go to toddtremonteam.com where you can find all our recommended pros and vendors under the radio tab. By the way, we're never going to recommend someone or give you the name of someone on this show if we haven't either personally used them and tested them and trust them ourselves or one of our trusted clients and friends have used them with a lot of trust. So just for example, I'm on the phone with Patrick at least once every week or two, and I'm currently using him for something and spoke with DP this week and spoke with Rodney Reinhardt this week, Adam Panter, like nearly keen landscaping this week. Uh, and we'll, you know, we'll talk more about that later. I just want to reassure our friends and our listeners that we're not here, you know, hawking a bunch of stuff to you. We run a real estate business all day, every day in Dallas, Fort Worth with an office in Richardson and an office in Fort Worth. By the way, we're hiring and we're working with buyers and sellers and roofers and plumbers and electricians and insurance agents and mortgage lenders and builders and all these things. And we introduce you to them as we find people, people to be trustworthy and hardworking and produce great results at a great value. And so you can go to toddtremonteteam.com anytime, click the radio tab and get contact info for a bunch of people that we work with and our friends and clients work with all the time. So if you've got questions, we want you to call or text 214-310-0008. That's 214-310-0008. Or go online to toddtremonteteam.com. Ask your question. We'll get it answered for you right here. Um, did you see the news? I'm sure you did. But like about 10, 11 days ago, was, you know, last Wednesday, uh, the 15th, the Dallas City Council voted uh, late Wednesday night to restrict short-term rentals, Airbnbs, VRBOs in residential neighborhoods with single-family homes. Now, they're still allowed in, multi in areas with multifamily dwellings and with commercial zones, but there's like other restrictions. Like you have to register your short-term your short rental. You have to pay taxes and fees, just like hotels would pay taxes right, and fees. Right. It has to have a driveway that you can park a vehicle on. It cannot be parked on the street. Yep. Like this is going to affect... Yeah, lots well, of we, we talked a lot about it on the show when Fort Worth was working towards something similar. And we've seen different cities all over the United States formulate 
all sorts of different policies, whether it's a licensing fee, an annual permit, taxation, or outright outlawing them. And if you remember when Uber was sort of expanding across the United States, a lot of cities did something similar with them. You know, the taxi industry or whatever would come in and say, hey, we don't want them. This is an abuse. They're not local, blah, 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 blah. Um, ultimately, I think these things are going to get hashed out. But what Dallas is saying, and, and admittedly, I heard a bunch of the news about this before I really dug into it. But to be clear, what Dallas is trying to say is if you're going to act like a hotel, we're going to treat you like a hotel. If you're going to have people coming and going and paying a daily rate and you're providing cleaning and hospitality, then, you know, we're going to that's going to be a business treated like a business. And normally there are already rules and laws and, and sometimes deed restrictions or, or city permit requirements and things to operate a business out of a home at all. Right. So you can have a sole proprietorship if you're a real estate agent or a tax accountant or something like that, where you work out of your home, but in almost any area, you can't have seven employees coming and going and parking outside of your house. So, this is not actually as new of an idea as some would like to believe, but it is definitely a major hit to some people that have built businesses around owning residential property for the sake of daily rate rental income. For example, somebody might own a home over by Cowboy Stadium and people are renting that home to go to concerts, to go to football games, to go to different deals over there. And all of a sudden, they are now at risk that A, they cannot do that, or B, their profit margin just got obliterated by taxes and fees and luxury, you know, th these kind of hospitality fees and things like that. So it's a major item. We definitely need to keep our eye on it. It's going to change the way that people invest in this category of business. It doesn't mean you cannot do it, but you might actually own a property that you were running as a short-term rental that you no longer can do that on. So it's going to be a major impact in our market. There could be a potential positive for home buyers, right? Mm -hmm. In that they're not going to be competing against investors that are buying up homes to use as short-term rentals. So maybe there's a little bit more of an opportunity there if we're looking at it from a, you know, yeah. a buyer's perspective. I don't, I, you know, yes, the answer is yes. Now to what scale is that? You know, we weren't seeing investors buying 1200 short-term rentals in the Dallas Fort Worth market in any one key, you know, area. Right. We were seeing big giant, you know, um, funds buy 1200 properties in DFW, but they were buying them for long-term rental or buy and hold strategies or even turn around flip strategies. So the short-term rental thing is still a very, very, very small percentage of the overall real estate market. It says there's about a thousand of them currently registered in single family. In areas those key in areas, right. So there's about a thousand properties and they're probably owned honestly by like 500 different owners, right? right. Some of them own six or eight, most of them own one. Um, but the reality is in that group, there are undoubtedly some people that that is their full-time livelihood and they built it around meeting a need and, and, and serving you know, a, a marketplace and there's going to be a dramatic impact on them. Now, those properties are sellable. It's still a good time to sell a home in our market. So it's not as though those people necessarily get wiped out, but their short-term uh, income opportunity has been absolutely affected by policy. And I'll just bring up one thought that we were talking about before we came on the air, which is in my experience through real estate, the ownership group that are short-term rental owners in these neighborhood areas are typically local residents that are excited, creative, vision-oriented people who don't typically um, care much. I mean, they're typically pro some regulation and some rules on keeping neighborhoods nice and things. All of a sudden, this group is up in arms for obvious reasons that they are not excited at all about new laws, new policies, new restrictions. So it's going to be interesting to see how this stuff shakes out. Again, Fort Worth has been wrestling with it for a while. You know, it wasn't that long. Ago. It's been years, but it wasn't that long ago that, that short-term rentals became approachable and seemed feasible for the typical family. And we saw cities like Richardson and Plano adding permits and things. And people were upset about that. It's my house. I should be able to do with it what I want. I got to pay you $250 a year just to be able to do this, blah, 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 blah. Well, obviously that's become... Uh, 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 an issue of much greater magnitude. And we'll continue. Everything's always evolving. Government's evolving. Restrictions are evolving. Communities are evolving. The real estate market's evolving. So this doesn't surprise me at all. 
Um, and I wouldn't think it'll be the end of a changing and evolving market because I've, I've never seen one that doesn't change and evolve. So there you have it. If you have not shopped your home insurance, your auto insurance recently, reach out to DP Lambert Goosehead Insurance and he will do that for you. And DP has saved me thousands of dollars over the years, saved Todd thousands of dollars. And we actually have a really cool story because DP literally texted Todd yesterday. Yep. Just said, and I won't say the name, but he just said, Hey, I just saved the blanks, a family that we sent over 1500 bucks on insurance, reshopping them into the franchise. Thanks for sending them over to me three years ago. So they've been with him three years and he's still able to save him 1500 bucks. Does that mean he didn't do a good job last year? No. What it means is if you have the same insurance professional year in and year out, they can help find you a different insurance provider, a different carrier not necessarily every year, but they can shop that year in and year out. And there's different offers and different fits and save you tons of money, not necessarily every year, but potentially every year. And this is one where some really close friends, clients of ours save $1,500 again in year three with DP. DP.Lambert, L-A-M-B-E-R-T, DP.Lambert at goosehead.com is his email. 214-838-5684 is his phone number. And as always, toddtromoneyteam.com. Click the radio tab and you will find all of our recommended pros and vendors right there. That's right. All of our pros and vendors. Plus, you can search any home by any real estate company in all of DFW. Plus, you can find out what your home would rent for or sell for. Plus, you could get a cash offer, check your home equity, track that. All of that happens online at toddtramaniteam.com. Todd if you Tremonti haven't checked your home value, though, it's less than one minute. Less than one minute, and you can find out what your home would sell for, what it would rent for, what maybe a cash offer might look like for it. You can do all that on the website. Just go to toddtramaniteam.com and click the home valuation tab right there on the home screen. And if you haven't done that, and I would say 60 days, if you have not done that in the last 60 days, I think you're being a little bit irresponsible with one of your one of your most important assets. The market's changing. Things, I mean, the, the attitude around the market, the economics around the market, I think it's important. If you want to know how much you have in your bank account, that's wise. If you want to know how much your stock portfolio or your retirement account is worth, that's wise. Your home should be right in that conversation. What is the value of it? How much debt do I have on it? What is it worth? It doesn't mean you're going to do anything with that information, but that information impacts all your other financial information. And it certainly impacts the safety of you or your family or whoever you're living with. So I think it's really important. If you haven't done that in a while, go to toddtramoneyteam.com, click property valuation or click the sellers tab and all that's at your fingertips in under a minute. Do you like burgers, Todd? You know, I like burgers. Don't you play with me? Do you like battles? You know, I like battles. How do you feel about a burger battle? Oh my gosh. Lil John loves it. Hey, it's time. It's time, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't have a copy of the Summer Fun Guide from the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team, we are glad to get you a copy. As a matter of fact, if you go to toddtremontiteam.com, there's a button on the homepage where you can request a Summer Fun Guide. We can get you one digitally. Uh, if you will make great use of it, we would be thrilled to mail you a, I believe, 28-page, glossy, good-looking, worthy of keeping all summer long, summer fun guide that not only gives you the details of this year's burger battle, we take our food very seriously here on the Touch Money Home Selling Team, but you can find the burger battle there. You can find the ice cream tour. You can find ways to beat the heat. You can find out how to have your very best day in Dallas and Glen Rose, a couple other bonuses there. You can find out how to uh, find under the radar live music and a ton of other really cool things, including fireworks and all sorts of other stuff. I was in the car with my kiddos uh, yesterday. We were actually picking up a bunch of peanut butter jelly. Yeah, you And were. we'll talk about that later. Yep. And we drove past uh, Sweet Firefly in Richardson, mm -hmm. and Paige just goes, Sweet Firefly, that's one of the ones on the ice cream tour. We're mm -hmm. going to do the ice cream tour. I don't know if you guys know this, but Paige and I are best friends. Paige doesn't know it, but Paige and I are best friends. Anyway... Um, yes, let's let's give a little more juice on the burger battle and remind people that the way you get in on this is go to toddtramontiteam.com, click on the Summer Fun Guide button. You'll get all the details about all sorts of ways that you can have a more exciting, energetic summer enjoying Dallas-Fort Worth and beyond, but primarily Dallas-Fort Worth. Some days, stay at home. We give you some activities to do. Get out and beat the heat. Get into some uh, waters, pools, 
um, lakes, ponds, all those kind of things. Get great food, have great experiences, and have an impact. We'll talk about that here in a second, but let's tell them about the Burger Battle. Yeah, if you're not following us on social media, on Facebook specifically for the Burger Battle, just you know, look us up and find it. Start following our team. Uh, there's going to be uh, a place where you can post nominations uh, during the month of June. There's going to be where you can vote on the Burger Battle. Um, that's going to start Monday july 17th yep it's coming up you gotta you gotta eat some burgers before then so eat. you can vote you want me to name the places yeah well people are already nominating on our yeah. facebook post starting today so here's the ones that we've got in the in the the summer fun guide right and uh, none of these are sponsors in any way uh dell's charcoal burgers should be Ferrer, good friend beer garden haystack burgers my favorite jake's burgers and beer jd's hamburgers kincaid's man i went to kincaid's a long time ago i don't there's not a there's not a name on this list that i will eat a hamburger from right now lily's bistro meteor burger rodeo goat shady's burgers and brouhaha and union bear brewery but we want other ones too like we want yeah. as many nominations as we can get hudson from klty uh put one in there called omas and then he got a bunch of chatter on that so there's there's already some nominating happening go to facebook look up todd tremani home selling team uh it's on our team page you can find my personal one there too but the team one todd tremani home selling team on facebook and you can see people already beginning to nominate some burger joints in the booklet it says this starts july 17th so we're not going to name a winner until the end of july so you have you know more than a month to go eat at some of these burger places maybe nominate a place that we didn't have on our list and then by the end of july we'll see what the people of dfw have to say now that's just one thing on one page of the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team DFW Summer Fun Guide. Well, that's what I was going to say. Like, there's so many things that's in here that it's literally the entire summer. Mm -hmm. So you're going to come across things for fireworks for July 4th. Well, when that's done, we're going to have burger stuff. We've got ice cream tours. We've got music and live, you know, places to go see live music. There's so the much. The centerfold of the Summer Fun Guide is a map with 45 different items on it of things to do, places to go. And that's not everything in the book. Uh, our good friend Bonnie Curry from over on KLTY wrote a whole spread in here about how to make your mark, how to have it make a difference in DFW this summer. We're going to come back to that here in a little bit. And there's a whole summer uh, 4th of July coloring contest. There's ways to battle boredom. Uh, there's information about some of the best fireworks displays. There's incredible recipes for, man, 4th of July. What I want in my hand, Ian Daniels, is a personal fried apple pie. And the recipe for the one my wife makes that will blow your mind, especially if there's some bluebell vanilla within reach, is in the Summer Fun Guide as well. I think it's a little bit cheesy when realtors give out recipes, but there's two occasions where we do that. One is when you become a new client. Not going to tell you any more about that. And number two is this apple pie recipe uh, for the 4th of July. So uh, Courtney has her All the Best Days brand making an appearance in the magazine, giving you some really cool full day agendas for quick road trips, how to enjoy the cities that you live in. Um, and then, uh, a, like a short day trip to Glen Rose and then a long day or two day trip. If you wanted to hit up Glen Rose and if you want other areas, she can show you all that stuff too. But the summer fun guide is very cool. That's why we're taking as much time as we are here on the show today, because if you live, uh, and work in the Dallas Fort Worth area, I'm telling you, this is free. We put a ton of work and money into it. You're crazy not to get your hands on a summer fun guide. Go to ToddTremontyTeam.com, click the button. You'll see a big picture of our team wearing Hawaiian shirts and sunglasses looking silly. Click that image and request a summer fun guide, and we'll get one in your hands. I think we started with 1,000, and I think we've got less than 100 left. Yeah, physical copies, we've got less than 100 left. So if you want one of those, you need to go quickly. ToddTremontyTeam.com. If you want a virtual one, you need to go quickly because the summer's moving away from us. We're running out of summer already, and you want to take advantage of everything you can. So TouchMoneyTeam.com, request a summer fun guide there. One of the other things that's in there is some information on the peanut butter jelly drive that we're doing every year. So why don't you tell the folks about that? Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut okay. Um, I think it's completely dumb and ridiculous and stupid and embarrassing and shameful that in Dallas-Fort Worth, the city of um, many resources – we have kids in our community that don't know where their next meal is going to come from during the school year. Uh, our tax dollars go in some ways to help them have breakfast and lunch at school. Uh, and for some of them, that's 
That's the only meal they can really rely on. Now, it doesn't matter what the reason is. For the sake of this, we want to feed those kids. We want to feed those kids. You want to feed those kids. I know you do. So one easy way for you to join us is you can Venmo, 25 bucks, 50 bucks, 100 bucks, whatever you can do right now, to at PBJ Drive on Venmo, at PBJ Drive. If you're even remotely considering it, would you do that right now? Even if it's $5, would you Venmo right now to feed hungry kiddos in North Texas? At PBJ Drive, stands for peanut butter and jelly, at PBJ Drive on Venmo. Or you can go to pbjdrive.com, there's a PayPal opportunity there, and there's information about how you can bring physical peanut butter and jelly to our Richardson office or our Fort Worth office. And I want you to do that. I want you to get the kids involved and talk to them about how important it is to serve our neighbors, to take care of each other, to love one another, to meet the basic needs of people in our community. Maybe you rally your office around this or your block in your neighborhood or your friend group or your church group or your softball team, whatever the case is. Go to pbjdrive.com. You can find out where you can fill your trunk, fill your truck, fill a bag and bring peanut butter and jelly to us, which we will then gather and celebrate and ultimately take to the North Texas Food Bank and the Tarrant Area Food Bank and bless as many kiddos and others. Our focus is on the kiddos, but others will get fed who have a need. Maybe you have had some food insecurity in your past and you know how important this is. Join us, rally others to join us. Venmo at PBJ Drive or go to pbjdrive.com for information on how you can bring physical peanut butter and jelly to our Fort Worth office or our Richardson office. We will obviously take donations anytime, but we are a big push month is this month. It's That's June. Right. That's right. That means by the time you listen to us next week, it's July. That's right. So this is the final week to be able to get your donations in, send money to uh, PBJ Drive on Venmo, bring them here to the office. Whatever it is, this is the week to do that. Yep. Stay tuned. Uh, we're going to talk a ton about what is happening on the ground in Dallas real estate, Fort Worth real estate, in addition to the short-term rental information and how to really enjoy your summer in DFW, which we've covered already. If you're thinking about buying this summer, I might blow your mind with what I have to tell you about interest rates and inventory and the opportunity for a buyer right now. And if you're thinking about selling, I might really surprise you on the timing that I would recommend. We're going to get to that a little bit later in the show, so hang with us throughout the show. I do want to tell you about Keen Landscaping. They've been doing some really good work at a new construction project we're working on. Uh, we're putting in <clears throat> over 50 Nellie R. Stevens hollies and eastern red cedars, if you're interested. Some big evergreen shrubs to create privacy. And uh, Keen is is not only the, the installer of that and the seller of that, but they're the planner of that as well. Consulting on irrigation and pathways and uh, maturity size of all this stuff. But if you need design consultation, landscaping, construction, maintenance, retaining walls, irrigation, tree work, or any of it, I want you to go to keenlandscaping.com, K-E-A-N-E, keenlandscaping.com. And you can ask for Alan over there. Alan's our guy over there now. And tell him Todd Tremonti sent you. Welcome back. Welcome back, party people. If you haven't checked your property value in the last 60 days, I think you might be making a bit of a mistake. You need to know your bank balance. You need to know your investment balance. You need to know your home equity number. Go to ToddTremontiTeam.com, click on the sell tab or the value this uh, home valuation tab and find out in under one minute. We're going to dig into what you need to know about the market right now. We're going to talk about rates. We're going to talk about buying and selling. But if you're not a buyer and seller, you still need to be paying attention to market activity because over the next year or two, by all means, until the next presidential election, uh, your tax value, your property value, where you live, what that impacts in regard to schools and fees and cost of living, proximity matters. So stay tuned, lean in, here we go, folks. Yep, and this first segment is, as always, brought by Patrick Gleros and his team at Cardinal Financial, Rick and Melanie and the entire team over there. PatrickGleros.com is where you can go. You can start an application right there on his website, whether you're looking to get a mortgage for buying a home, whether you're looking to uh, refinance, whether you're looking to buy an investment property, Patrick should be your first stop. Go uh, Jump on his website, PatrickGleros.com, G-L-A-R-O-S. Give him a call at 972-728-3420. NMLS number 308804. So let's start with, I want an answer in less than a minute. What do people need to know about the market? 
People need to know that right now, buyers are overwhelmingly fearful and hesitant and sellers are confused. Those are the two predominant mindsets of buyers and sellers. The problem is most of the buyer's fears are hyper-focused on interest rates and they're not paying attention to a lot of the other information in the market. And most sellers' uncertainty is based on bad sources of information. So there's my quick summary. We can break it down later. Yeah, no, let's uh, let's jump in a little bit more then on kind of <clears throat> what are what are people seeing or what are we seeing for home buyers and home sellers right now because i feel like if i was to give you my kind of quick summary on the last couple of months do it it feels as though home sellers have become a little bit more reserved mm -hmm. they're kind of you know, waiting a little bit uncertainty yeah that's mm -hmm. what it is and home buyers I, th I feel as though a lot of home buyers feel optimistic well, the they're, they're kind of getting used to the idea that this is what interest rates are going to be. The ones that are paying attention that they're doing that. And that I believe is the wise conclusion. Now, I think we have a weird sample size because we're our feedback is from the people that are actively talking to us. Right. There's a bunch of people for sure sitting at home fearful, both buyers and sellers. And I believe the buyers are fearful about interest rates, therefore payment. And the sellers are confused. Is the market up? Is it down? Is it about to crash? Are we heading into recession? Is inflation good for me? By the way, if you own a real asset and the amount of the value of an individual dollar is going down, you're going to get you're going to get more vet dollars for your asset if you sell it, right? If it's sellable. Yep. So that isn't you know there's a whole complex conversation there. But the point I'm to, I'm making is there's the sideline conversation, all the people sitting on the sideline with bad intel or or hyper focused fears, and then there's the engaged. I want to buy and I want to sell and I want to do it well. And those are the people that are calling us and we're able to help them do that well, which is great. Go to touchmoneyteam.com. But we'll talk, you know, if you want to go ahead and jump into the big butt segment, we can go ahead and do that because I think interest rates well, hold on. Hold are a big on. piece of what's happening right now. Interest rates are high, but... Well, let's back it up a little bit. Interest rates are high. For some people, they're as high as they've been in their, quote, home buying lifetime, meaning they're of an age that they've been paying attention to buying and selling real estate since 2010. And so they've seen sustained lower interest rates and 6.85 or seven or even 7.15 sounds to them astronomically high, unfair and uh, prohibitive to buy a home. Now, for some people, the math just doesn't ha shake out that the home I want or need, even very reasonably, the payment I cannot afford. And for that, I get it. I understand you've got to work and save or, or look at alternative options. But for others that can do it, and it might be a wise, responsible decision, it just relative to what they've seen for the last 10-ish years seems very, very uncomfortable. But, the big but here, but what if a short-term higher interest rate was the exact cover fire you needed to advance forward financially to advance think, think about like you know you're watching a, a a war movie there's a gunfight or something right that cover fire is the thing that allows you to move forward safely what if the cover fire for home buyers right now is high rates and the high rates are keeping a lot of other buyers at home so they're not a threat they're not competing with us and the high rate deal has got a lot of sellers uncertain and less confident. So as a buyer, I can say, look, I don't love a higher rate. I don't love a higher payment, but that's going to help me save money on the actual purchase price because I'm not competing with as many people and I'm buying from a seller that's not quite as confident. It's also going to help me save money because that seller is going to be a lot more negotiable, give me time to think and work through things, maybe pay for some repairs, allow me the time I need, allow me to get an inspection and an appraisal and protect myself. Those are all huge advantages. A higher interest rate is not an advantage, but it might work out in your advantage because it's creating the market conditions for less competition from other buyers, lower purchase price, and a more negotiable, willing, cooperative seller. And that interest rate is not fixed forever. If it comes down to six next year or the next year, I could, re I could refinance down. If it comes down to five or four and a half again sometime soon, maybe I only had to pay that higher rate for a year or two or three. And that's the cover fire that allowed me to save five or six figures in other areas. And that is a phenomenal trade-off. 
totally worth it, especially if we're thinking about the safety, security of our, of our family, where we go to school, where we live, our commute, and our long-term wealth building. So the big but here is interest rates are higher, but that may be creating market conditions that are phenomenal for you as a buyer. If you think that may be you, or you want to find out if that applies to you, just give us a call or a text at 214 310 Zero 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 eight. There's a good chance you can talk to the English wonder himself, the Yanni Donny, Ian Daniels, right here. Having a good title company, a great title company, is so so important throughout the course of your transaction uh, on buying or selling a property. And Republic Title are one of the leaders in the industry when it comes to uh, delivering uh, in phenomenal service and title insurance um, throughout um, during the course of the transaction. RepublicTitle.com is where you can find out more information about them. I've just had so many bad interactions with title companies that just seemingly don't know what Suck they're doing. the life it's out of a transaction. Just ridiculous and i just i never have that with with republic title i've used them my family have used them friends have used them and so many of our clients have used them and it's always a great experience republictitle.com as a matter of fact christina from republic title is literally in the office yeah. studio right now but absolutely refusing to come yeah on the air great at what she does radio is not what she does we're, we're get we're working on her folks we're gonna have her come One speak day. to you Someday we will tell her that this just happened. We've called her out on yep. air. We've summoned her to the microphone, but at the moment she said no. Go to republictitle.com if you have to buy, sell, refinance, or move title to a property in any way. And I think we've handled her rejecting our plea to come on well I'm by calling I'm her out on a, yeah. on, a, on a radio broadcast. I think that's the right thing to do. Uh, it's ready. Are you ready? Are you ready? I don't know what I'm ready for. Courtney, but I you ready? Feel ready. <laughs> Are you ready? ready? She's ready. Oh, boy. She's ready, folks. Oh it's boy. that time. It's time for the Cockney what? rhyming slang word of the week. Oh, gosh, I get nervous. Will it rhyme? Woo. Will it rhyme? Loaf of bread. Loaf of bread. Loaf of bread. Will you use it in a sentence? Yeah, I will. Thank you. Where to you use your loaf? So my Loaf brain. of bread, use your head. Got it. Oh. Yeah! Oh. See, this was like last week where I was like close, but like you got it. You were close. And yeah. I, yeah. I would say get used to it, but that feels like an unkind thing to say. So I won't say get used to it. Unbelievable. Classic. Very quarter. proud of both of you. you that one rhymed. Head. I'm proud of the whole continent. You know, Western Europe, England, wherever this silliness is rooted. It's really in the region of England, I guess, that speaks this way. But uh, that one rhymed. Use so your loaf. It, it actually Use your loaf. Sense. Got it. There you go. Loaf of bread, head. Now, to be clear, they always shorten it to something that robs you of the actual word that rhymes. But there's a whole country behind it, I feel like. Uh, I'm proud of us, Courtney. I think we were on to them. We mentioned it a little earlier in the show that we are, in fact, hiring. Mm -hmm. That's something that's very important to point out. And so I want to talk about uh, the book that we've been going through, the Five Lives book. Uh, and the truth that will set you free. And we're going to talk about the fourth truth that's there in the book, uh, that is think clients first, company or team second, and self last. So let me give you an illustration of this. Uh, this is a book I wrote for real estate agents. So if you are a real estate agent, pay attention. If you're newly licensed uh, or you would like to get a real estate license, go to touchmoneyteam.com, click on the careers page. We, we'd love to talk. We're very, very selective in that process. But if you're a fit for us, uh, and we're a fit for you, that could be an incredible future for all of us. If not, we'll help you find something someplace else. But um, the point of that truth, uh, will you say it again just so everybody can hear it clearly because it's multi-part? Yeah, think clients first, company or team second, and self last. Okay, so this sounds kind of funky when you're when you're talking about your career to think of yourself last. But the reality is, if you're working in a cooperative environment, which I believe all real estate agents should, I just don't think this is a career that you can really do completely on your own anymore. It doesn't mean you can't be an individual agent, but you need help from others. So when you think of yourself last, when you think of uh, clients and then your company or your team or your, your network and then yourself, the reality is you've now got a bunch of people looking out for your success, looking out for the value to the client, looking out for your health and sustainability and income, safety, security, all these things. If it's every person for themselves, then literally everyone is totally on their own. 
if it, our team's about a dozen total people, including agents, staff, and me, CPA, all of it. So if I were to ask one of my team members, how many people are currently working on making sure you have a bright future? They would say 12. If I said, how many people want to make sure you make a great living this year? They'd say 12. How many people want to make sure you're safe when you're in and out of homes and offices with people that you may be not really familiar with? 12. But if it's every girl, every man, every boy, every woman for themselves, all of a sudden, everyone's out there on guard. Everyone's a little nervous. Everyone's a little hesitant or everyone's overly aggressive uh, and everyone loses. So that's what we mean by that. One of the truths that can help you be successful in real estate, potentially make you wealthy, keep you out of trouble, is it is true that you will do well if you put company, client, and other things before yourself. Not in a ridiculous, self-deprecating way, but in a logical, prioritized, this works better with community approach. Yeah, I mean, I think it's how, it's how a lot of us approach many aspects of our lives, right? Yeah. It's like, we don't wanna be isolated. We don't wanna be doing things by ourselves. Like we want to be doing things with others. It, it's more fun, it's whether, more fun that way. Whether you're in a military situation or, you know, as a Christ follower, I would say just in a, you know, in a spiritual situation, uh, isolation is really dangerous. You know, in a military deal, you'd say divide and conquer. You separate someone from their unit or whatever, and they're super vulnerable, right? Isolation is dangerous. Um, again, let me be clear. This doesn't mean you can't be a real estate agent who's solo and has a business, but you can't be isolated. You need cooperation from other professionals, whether it be directly supporting you or mutual cooperation and support from a multiple different trades and vendors and things like that. I do think the best model is a team where people work, the same people work together all the time and are building trust and systems and patterns to add more value to the client. But I certainly think complete isolation is a bad idea. Yeah, 100% agree with you. Um, okay, tell folks again about peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter jelly time. Go to pbjdrive.com and you can find out where you can bring peanut butter and jelly jars to make a big difference. I think the summertime is a great time to grab the kids, help them understand the needs of a community. And if you have the ability and the resources, if you have $5 laying around or 5,000, you can go and buy peanut butter and jelly and drop it off at our office in Richardson or our office in West Fort Worth. And we will get that to the food banks. The, the, the benefit to you is the experience of touching it, feeling it, seeing it, talking about it. If that's not the best angle for you or your family or your office, you can go on Venmo to at PBJ Drive on Venmo. The account is at PBJ Drive just for this and send 20 bucks, 50 bucks, 100 bucks, 1,000 bucks. Either way, I want to challenge you to rally others to join you in making a bigger difference than you could make on your own. And I really am asking and I'm unapologetically asking because feeding children is a basic need that every community, especially one like Dallas, Fort Worth, and North Texas, we can do this. Skip your Starbucks, skip your expensive donut, you know, skip, skip something, skip a meal if you need to, because you don't, you're not questioning where your next meal comes from. And let's feed hungry kiddos in our community that are fearful and questioning where their next meal comes from. So whether it's $5, 500 or 5,000, Venmo at PBJ Drive, or go pick up some peanut butter and jelly, you can go to pbjdrive.com, find out the addresses of our offices, or you can use PayPal there if you want. We will point all those resources towards the North Texas Food Bank and the Tarrant Area Food Bank. But as we gather it all together, we can measure it, we can weigh it, we can photo it and tell you the cumulative benefit, the cumulative impact we are able to have. And you can model that for your children, your family, your office, your team, your neighborhood, your community, your friend group. Please do that. Go to pbjdrive.com or Venmo at PBJ Drive. There's a vacation Bible study going on at, the, at our church right now that right. We, we both go to. And I uh, took the kid, my kiddos up yesterday to help me pick up and move about 200 pounds yep. of PBJ that got raised up. And I'm taking, you know, Audrey and, and my kids will go out this week and yep. we'll go buy what we're going to go buy. And it's always fun. Like it really is fun, in, including the kids and getting to help them understand, especially as they get older. Like they're in a, they're in a super privileged situation and it's yep. not it's not something that all kids get to experience and yep. um and, and seeing their hearts for wanting to do some of this stuff is really really cool so i would highly 
highly encourage getting your kiddos involved if you have kiddos. The vast majority of us have more than we need and others need what we have. Let's share it. And so what we did just to illustrate that with the church, the, the, the summer program over there, we said, uh, they asked us, they said, Hey, we heard about your PBJ drive. Could we do something every week to, to gather PBJ? I said, yes, I'll provide a pinata to the group at the kids club deal that brings the most each week. So we went and dropped off pinatas full of crazy candy. It did not cost us a ton. And they're competing and learning about the, the joy of giving and the value of giving and the call to give and serve others and love others. And then they're getting to celebrate by smashing a pinata. What could you do at your church, your office, your neighborhood, on your block, your softball team or whatever to rally people, celebrate, reward it a little bit, turn 20 bucks into thousands of meals and join with us to do this. Get creative. Let us know. Go to pbjdrive.com or Venmo at pbjdrive. Okay, so you are watching, reading, digesting a ton of information yep. each and every week. What is something that you absolutely are just busting at the seams yeah, I got to make one. sure we know about? I've got one this week. I've been reading a book that's literally about like getting absurdly rich, but it's not mostly about money. The illustrations are some of the greatest stock market investors ever, but really the book is about the fact that none of them, and really no one ever, finds true wealth in that manner. But this is a unique selection of people, mostly men, but there's some really powerhouse women in there too, who have built like tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars in personal wealth through investing in the market. And their greatest messages, the things they're most passionate about are is never the company, the stock, the money, the options, the trading. It's the life that they live and the fact that they didn't need almost any of that money. No. Obviously, you need a certain amount of money to have food and shelter and, and, and some recreation and things. But the really amazing takeaway was that the, our world, our culture here in the United States is when you hear the word wealth, 999 times out of 1,000 people are talking about money. But these men and women who had all the money you could ever spend reminded me of what I, you know, I know to be true, but I can get distracted from, that true wealth is in what we just talked about. It's in community. It's in health, it's in connection, it's in friendships, it's in impact, it's in using your gifts to bless others and allowing others' gifts to bless you. If you don't like the word blessing, just say impact or effect or change or help. Um, that's wealth, right? I remember growing up, I grew up in a middle-class family, you know, and, and my dad would say, I'm a wealthy man. He was not talking about the fact that we had a roof over our head and food. He was talking about the fact that we were a family that loved each other and spent time together. And we knew we had a warm, safe place to sleep every night. Um, and to be honest, he grew up without a father. And so he defined wealth very differently in having a family that was connected with a mom and a dad and kiddos and all the things. And not everybody's got that. So we can define wealth differently, but it is certainly defined beyond finances. There is a limit to what finances can do. There's certainly a huge impact that finances can make, but uh, my big thought, my big obsessive thought this week is how wealthy I am not counting money and how much I want to help and encourage and equip other people to do that. And I will just add that the home is a big piece of that. It doesn't have to be big. doesn't have to be in some fancy, you know, well-known address neighborhood, but the structure is not as important as what the structure affords, what the structure allows, what the structure can provide, which is a place where marriages are developed, where, where, where kiddos learn and grow and feel safe and eat and sleep and play uh, and where people grow in, in, in connection to each other and invite other people in and visit others, uh, that's a big deal to us. And when we talk about real estate, a lot of times we're talking about that. And that's what makes it an absolute joy for us to help people buy and sell homes all over North Texas. So if we can help you do that, if we can help you think about that or talk about that, Give us a call, 214-310-0008, 214-310-0008. Don't wait. Most people wait too long, and then they're in a hurry. You can never plan ahead too early. Go online, just like my son says. Touchermightyteam.com. If you haven't checked out what your home would sell for, what it would rent for, if you want to check out what it might look like to get a cash offer, head over to todtramoneyteam.com. 
click the home valuations tab and in less than one minute you will be able to find out all of that information and so much more when it comes to what equity you have and there's a ton of other resources that it'll tell you uh touchonmoneyteam.com click the home valuations tab now it's been uh, the feels like this week the highest i saw was 117 degrees hot and a half it was ridiculous it's been horrible how does that affect our roofs and what should people do it's bad it's not good it's like putting your roof in an oven uh now roo- the, the the roofs that we use here in north texas mostly composition shingles can endure it but it, it 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 takes some life off of them right so if you don't know what's going on on your roof especially with all the wind and hail and rain and heat and crazy extremes we've had just in the last six weeks yeah. if you don't know the condition of your roof you're playing you're gambling you're gambling that the next time we get a big rain The water comes in, the sheetrock comes down. Now, I'm not telling you to panic. What I am telling you is if you haven't had a professional roofer that you really like and trust up on your roof in the last two years, you need to do that. And if you think you might have been impacted with the storms that have happened this spring and early summer, you need to have somebody out. The people that I recommend are PMR Roofing. Jordan's our guy over there. Go online to PMRRoofing.com. That's PMRRoofing.com. Ask for Jordan. They're local. They're honest. They've been around forever. They'll look you in the eye, shake your hand, tell you what you need. They won't sell you what you don't need. They'll do it all at a fair price and do the right thing. I took uh, one of these summer fun guys to one of my buddies that lives in uh, Allen and is where they got pounded by the hail several Some of weeks ago. Some of them got hit And twice. no joke, I saw probably a dozen PMR roofing yeah. signs right there along and, the street. And so many of them are using PMR for the second or third time because they're reliable. And once you use them once, you'll just forever and ever and ever, they'll be your go-to roofer because you'll you'll see how well they treat you. Go to PMRroofing.com. All right, folks, if you're thinking about buying, selling, or investing in real estate or simply enjoying your home and we can help, go to toddtremonteteam.com or call or text. You should have this saved in your phone. Call or text 214-310-0008. Check out the podcast anywhere you get podcasts. DFW Real Estate Weekly with Todd Tremonti. We'll talk to you soon.